Let's talk about computers. Now, when it comes to computers, there's PC people and there's Mac people, and I'm a Mac people. I have a MacBook Pro, a Mac Mini, an iPhone, and so on. But when it came time for a streaming PC to do my live streams on my Kev Central channel, I purchased this really cheap on Amazon. I think it was 330 bucks, something like that. And this isn't anything special. 256 gig PC IE drive and I think 16 gigs of RAM. And the little processor in here is a Ryzen 5 2500U. So I don't know the exact specs on that. I know it was a four core, but not fast. It has though done the job. Well, actually this is the second one of these. The first one lasted about a year. I bought a replacement and this one is now going on a year. Just these little computers that just don't think they last that long. And you can see a little dust here. Let me cover up this, but I mean, look at the fan. I keep it clean. And I try to keep things clean out here, but it's slowing down. So I had a dilemma. Do I buy a new Mac Mini? They have the new M2 models out, but I was a little hesitant on that because the bottom end Mac Mini is only 8 gigs of RAM. And I understand that the SSD drive that they chose is really slow for some reason on the 256 gig model. So that made me start thinking about another Minis Forum PC. But I didn't go minis for them. I went mini. But I decided I'd pay a little more, almost as much as a Mac Mini. And where this is going to be a big step up, though, is this is 8 core. It's a Ryzen 7 6800H, and it has Radeon 680M, which is the RDNA2 graphics. This was only 1.2 gigahertz on the graphics, and it was the older Vega 8. And here's the specs on this one. 32 gigs, 500 gigs of memory. Of course, that Ryzen 7 processor. So I'm going to open this up. I don't normally do computer unboxings here, but I'm really curious about this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it looks like it's going to be smaller, even smaller than this Mini's form, which hangs on the back of my display out here in the bike barn, but also I'm hoping it will be faster than the new Mac Mini M2, at least as far as usably fast when it comes to my streaming software. So let's get this open and take a look at it and see what, oh, by the way, it's a different brand. I went with Minis for them because I think they're kind of the most trusted as far as these budget mini PCs. This one's a B-Link. I skipped over B-Link last time for Minis Forum because of the brand recognition, but I'm hoping this does well. Another curiosity that I'm going to have is the software. This runs Windows 10. It couldn't even be updated to Windows 11, which was another thing that was leaning me towards getting a new computer. This new one, it's going to be running Windows 11, which I hear a lot of people don't like. So yeah, I'll need to check that out make sure it's going to work for me and that's kind of my deciding point i still have about a week or so that i could return this to amazon if it didn't work out for me so i figure i might as well get to it and see how it's going to work and right away there's no pull tab or anything to get the computer out let's get it out and look at it and yeah it is definitely smaller Definitely smaller than this old minis forum. And I also see that the color is different. Didn't really pay attention to the coloring of it, but it does have a different color. If I can get it unwrapped here. There we go. Yeah. This has kind of a greeny color to it and it's metal. I like that. Even the grill is metal. This is a fabric. It doesn't pop off like this one did, which was super cool. But still, I imagine if I get the light just right, I can see some vents down in there, I think. So maybe that's for cooling. And there's nothing on the bottom, but I'm assuming this is just a pull tab for these screws to take the bottom off. I'm not going to take it apart. More interested in how this runs. This, of course, Radeon Graphics, there's the Ryzen 7, and it looks like I have the same amount of ports, which was important to me. Well, actually, one less LAN port, but 
that's not important. It's the two HDMI ports and the USB. Then on the front, yeah, I think this is going to work fine, at least as far as ports go. Accessories, in case you're one. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, yeah, I can see. I don't know how well you can see through it, but see the vent holes? This is a new top cover. It looks like if you don't like the gray, you can go with black. So I guess there's that. I'm just going to put that back in here. And what I'm going to try to do on this is get this booted up and kind of maybe my first impressions of Windows 11 to boot, but get quite a few things down in here. There is an HDMI cable. There is the power brick. There is a USB cable set. Okay, looks like another HDMI cable. So there are two, a short one and a long one. Now that's kind of cool. All right, and I've got the power brick. It's like a mounting plate, some screws, and the other half of the power brick. So that's what's made up this little computer. Let me get it installed and I'll get it booted up and kind of hopefully I'll go through the process and give you my first impressions of Windows, Windows 11 rather. And I don't know, maybe depending upon the information I have to put in, I might just kind of skip to it actually running and we'll see how it performs least versus this one just mousing around see if that works well but yeah there's my b-link was this sir 6 ser6 6, i believe is the actual model number a lot faster hopefully than this one okay there's the pc on top of a kleenex box because my hdmi cable was a bit short because again i mount to the back of this this is a toshiba fire tv Guess I just didn't have it plugged in all the way. So my first looks at Windows 11 here. Oh, I like the startup sound. Let's see, this should pick up my mouse. It does. And already I don't have the lag. So that's good. The mouse lag. I like that. And I'm in the U.S. I'll maybe skip through all this for you. Checking for updates. I already have this hardwired into, it's got a LAN cable running into the back. So this should be max speed on my, my massive 50 megabit AT&T U-verse connection. As fast as I can get, believe it or not. There's fiber all around me, but no fiber in my neighborhood. Okay, it's processing through. I mean, this is Windows 11, so it's obviously not Windows 10, but I will say that it's going through setup faster than I remember on the minis forum. And I guess now it's going to reboot without any prompt or did it prompt me and I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I guess so I guess that was just a reboot. Maybe I should really start paying attention to the screen rather than looking at the computer and talking into the camera. Alright, I agree to whatever whatever you're asking me. I agree. Name your device. Farm it's rebooting again. Is this part of Windows 11? All these unprompted reboots? Yep, it's going forward every time. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, other than the weird no prompt restarts everything so far is going pretty well and i think a lot speedier than before actually quite speedy i'll say that's a nice look 
I like the blue black fade there. Oh, something's happening. Okay. All right. And this is the new windows. So the taskbar. You know, this looks a lot like the Mac OS. This looks a lot like Mac OS with the, which we call the dock. In the Mac world, but I guess still taskbar. Yeah, taskbar settings. So still taskbar with Windows. I don't have any lag on my mouse, so that's good. Okay, I just filmed all of my intro stuff. My first experiences here with Windows 11. A little uh, off. I had one lag thing. File Explorer kind of locked up for a second and wouldn't close. But overall this you know works works smoothly and i'm gonna have a bunch of updates going on in the background which i'm sure it'll be even faster after that i'm not going to click here on the start because it shows some personal information but it does work better i mean just my mousing alone a lot better than the old computer so i'm hoping when i get my streaming software on here it's going to be Asus. We'll see how this runs. I think so far it's going to be better. It's definitely faster than this. And another thing about this, I don't feel any heat. I've been using it now for, I don't know, five, ten minutes. I don't feel any heat. This will get pretty warm. The fan always ran at a very low speed and it sits on the monitor. It's about there on the back and this monitor vents up at the top so the heat doesn't radiate out, radiate out where this was. So I'm thinking this is going to be a lot better with its heat dissipation and also anytime I would do anything, if I had streaming software up or really anything, I would click to watch on a little video or sometimes in my live streams I would play a video in the background this would spin up and that fan would be surprisingly loud and I'm amazed that someone didn't comment about it because I could always hear it. Oh my gosh, yeah, Windows Update is way faster. That was definitely on this one. Anytime I would run a Windows Update, it would take forever for each one of these to not only pull it down but start installing. I don't know if you just noticed, it's already installed and my mouse would really start getting slow with this old one doing updates and look at that it's just burning through these okay so it's definitely going to be faster oh and listen you hear that i don't know if you can hear it but the fan it's been and i can feel air i can feel cool air and that's why that was perforated that top so yeah quiet way quieter than this when the fan spins up and definitely faster chunking through all of these updates can't show you the whole screen because there's some personal information up there yeah okay i'm definitely gonna like this and that should do it for this video comment below if you have any questions or any thoughts on this or if you think i should stay mac since technically i'm a mac person even though i do have some complaints about apple products and there's the fan spinning up again but thanks for watching have a great day